There is no doubt that commitment and hard work are usually the attributes to success. This necessitated the gathering of elites, captains of industries from reputable companies ranging from business and banking sector, including security, expertise, all gathered as an awardee at the fifth edition of the Pride Newspaper Award held in Lagos. According to the CEO and publisher of Pride Newspaper, Joshua Okulu, says few members of the recipients are carefully selected based on performance, accountability, selfless service, delivery and tremendous impact to the society, which cannot be overemphasized. We check your track record, we check your achievement, we check what you are doing for the society and we we'll screen them down to the number we have today. And at least we have over 20 of them are qualified selectors for this award this evening. Meanwhile, delivering the keynote addressed by the Commissioner of Police, Lagos State Fire Ade Adegoke, emphasized on the theme tagged the role of security, good governance, and quality leadership. It's also very important in the life of any nation where you have governance, leadership, or somebody at the personal at the end of your who is focused, who knows what is doing the economy of the country. Will better for it and the people will be better for it. But above all, security is very important. If we have all this, we have good leadership, we have good governance, and security is not compact enough, we will not, we'll not be able to achieve all this. Because security is the will that enhances the economic development of any nation. If the nation is not secured, you cannot go out of your house to do your business. You cannot go out of your house to go to your place of work. You cannot go out of your house to attend to uh, simple, I mean, normal day-to-day -day life activities. Our deeds include Commissioner for Youths and Social Development, Lagos State Mobolaji Ogunlende, Prince Tunde Ayekoto, Editor Ayekoto Reporters, including Commissioner of Police, Lagos State, and other personalities. A big thank you once again. This award, like you said, is not for anyone to sit down and fold arms. But as you know, our governor, Mr. Celebo, Mr. Project, Mr. Point and Do, he will not rest. He will continue to do. And we will continue to give him the support that he needs. So this is also a testament to the great works that he's doing. And we can assure you that we will not rest. We will continue our best to ensure that it gets greater Lagos continues to rise. Thank you, and God bless. And uh, it is not easy in this outer space to operate in the Nigerian system. It costs a lot, and uh, it is not easy. So a lot of effort have been put to this. I thank the organizers for packaging this very wonderful award. So this is not the first time I could talk to receiving an award, but we pay a media organization of this right puts to really identify a equal to importance again. I thank Joshua and his team, and I pray that God Almighty will continue to bless you Amen. and your people. Amen. Uh, my friend. Reacting to the trending issues and speculations wavering the air concerning cybercrime law, Lagos based journalists also seized the privilege to frown at the law restricting newsmen to perform their legitimate duty in a democratic setting. In the 80s, when uh, Florence Itagiwa, the wife of Dele Giwa, asked Dele Giwa that Nigeria is not right for the type of journalism you practice. And as at that time, Dele Giwa gave a response that he will continue to give his best to as far as that profession is concerned. And I believe that many journalists like I am are uh, passing through that same stage today that they are only trying to give their best in order to get the best result and for the good of the country. And uh, this is exactly the position we are. Minding the fact that the economy is a very sick economy and you are having journalists that need to operate, that needs to go and look at things out there and these are things that actually cost money to actually. So at the end of the day, you discover that we continue to give very porous output in terms of bringing out the type of journalism that the society deserves. And unfortunately, the society... In Lagos, Usola Yusuf reporting.
for News Booster NGTV.